Hello, everybody. Uh, as Martin said, we are not yet a US affiliate, but we are doing a SATS4 with our warmest uh, with colleagues for, from Portugal for trying to establish a news one. Then I'm going to speak today in a, in, on behalf of a very big group uh, form of people or different organizations from Spain and Portugal. And I'm going to talk about the evolution and the steps that we are doing uh, for reacts these objectives that is created the, the Ibero-Atlantic Geos affiliate. Uh, a very quick uh, summary, the, the, this proposal was presented uh, for the first time in the last uh, DOS days in Munich. Uh, on, in, um, only for summary, uh, we, we, we have worked a lot in the, in the past with Portugal and other countries around us. And we are countries that we have a similar geographic distribution, but also we are affected by similar risks, as the example that all my colleague Manuel presented this morning. Then it has sense that we need a shared forum uh, to uh, exchange knowledge and data, um, in, in general to collaborate with the countries around us. Here arises the, the idea of creating a GIGOS affiliate in the Iberian Atlantic area, uh, evaluating the past collaboration. Uh, I presented in that meeting several campaigns that we have done together with Portugal and Morocco, uh, all of them very fruitful, but also uh, in the view of the current collaboration that uh, are very enriched for both uh, countries. We have uh, decided to, to evaluate this proposal of the create a new Geo Cyberlandic group could be useful and rich for all of us. Uh, in our first uh, moment, we have started this proposal with Portugal uh, in the view of the current work that we are doing, doing in Ryder, in that Jose Manuel and Jose Antonio presented this morning. But uh, we are open uh, in the future to more countries if they are interested in the Bel Atlantic area or maybe uh, also in the other phase of the <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. Um, I'm going to, okay, here. Uh, why do we want to do a uh, GIGOS in Bel Atlantic group? Uh, first of all, because we think that could be a way of communication, communication between countries, but also between organizations, because it's quite frequently that even in the same country we are not very, we are not communicating. Sometimes we are having the same data, we are have similar object, objectives, but we are not working to, together for getting. But also it's very important and one of the keys is to communicate to society. society. People don't know UBC, at least in our countries, I guess that more or less is uh, the general situation. Uh, out of UBC, is not known. And we would like to create that necessity, that understanding of the importance of UBC. Also, it will be a way of promotion to studies in, in other areas that maybe we are not uh, now working enough but also promote the existing United products and applications. There are a lot of things created already, but we are, the people are not using it. And also create, promote the importance of UDC, as I mentioned. And it could be a way of access to new projects, opportunity for young researchers, and uh, also create the, uh, that the people understand the importance of good money in something that is public, that are the genetic data. And if we need money for maintaining all the infrastructure and uh, the instrumentation for doing the observation, we have to do an effort for create, to make understanding to the people this, the importance of all this that we are doing. Okay. Now, uh, as one of our first activities was to collaborate with the Geo Japan meeting. In March of the, this year, they invited us to uh, 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 tell to present our proposal, and it was a very rich uh, activity for us. 
And also in April, we were in the meeting of the coordinating board uh, of GIGOS, where we present the previous uh, scheme that we have done of the steps that we think we needed for creating this, this uh, group. The initiative arrives in the, in the organization that are involved in RIAD, uh, the idea in Spain, the University of Alicante, and RIAD Cafores. But uh, we want to communicate with other. Uh, we have communicated, uh, we have invited to several organizations to work with us for getting this, this uh, goal. Uh, in the Spanish part, we have the, like, this scheme that we need to, to, well, to step by step down for uh, getting the approval of the Spanish uh, Commission of Geodesy and Geophysics, that is the public organs that uh, need to approve this important decision. And uh, in a first moment, we didn't know which was the Portuguese scheme for following for uh, getting the approval for doing this proposal to Ligos, but in the next slide, I'm going to see that we have uh, we have done some steps news in, in that uh, way. In this meeting, we were doing a feasibility study that we, it was uh, the, the Spanish Geodetic Committee uh, decided to, uh, do, to do this study for see if the if this proposal is it, it will work is uh, useful for us and if everything is okay uh, the next step for us uh, in a few in a first moment was to do this uh, well to contact with the Portuguese colleague and do the proposal to you. And the status of this uh, um, feasibility study was the next one uh, on instruction of the Spanish Commission of Geodesy and Geophysics a group of experts evaluating the feasibility of this proposal. What we did in this group, there is a group of different organizations of Spain, we tried to answer uh, these questions. And with the answer and the discussion that uh, have uh, arise uh, of answering these questions, we uh, create a document uh, with this structure in a first uh, chapter, is like a quite general information about Yodesi, what is uh, what is Geodesy uh, and general aspects because we don't know if who is going to read this document. Uh, we want to do like a general introduction. But uh, in the four and five uh, chapter, uh, the four and five chapter are maybe the most interesting. The four uh, is in summary the what Manuel presented this morning, that is the Spanish status and capabilities of the Spanish Geodesy. And in the uh, five points, uh, we did a critical anas uh, analysis of the status of the U.S. in Spain. Uh, this, a lot of discussion have arisen uh, studying this point. And we have concluded a point that uh, which ones are the main strengths, opportunity, threat, and weakness uh, of the Spanish U.S. that also Manuel presented a little bit. In summary, the critical points are the next one, the maintenance and improvement of the infrastructure should be carried all in a smart manner, combining efforts and established policies that ensure their optimal utilization. Also, the critical point that we have seen is that our present international present is low, even in the uh, we are not uh, participating in a lot of international group, and that's a point that we would like to change and improve. There is a lack of knowledge about geodesy among the general population, and in, uh, the more worry is that in, in critical sector also, the geodesy is not known. The geodetic vocation are declining, and we have a problem in the future, maybe not now, but in the future it's going to be a, a severe problem. And uh, geodetic knowledge is the key to achieve objectives, securing funding, and particularly creating the geodetic need and justifying this investment. The conclusion was that uh, to create this aff affiliate group could help to the creation and participation in new projects. It will be a way of creating a forum for discussion. Uh, uh, we will have a unified voice uh, for us for project or for getting some funds. It will establish also a connection with international, the international geos activities. 
and it will help with the geodetic or create some remote geodesy and create geodesy vocations. This is the document. The document was finished in July of this year and was sent to the Geodesy Committee of the Spanish Commission of Geodesy and Geophysics. The file of this month was approved. Then we have the, the approval of the commission, but we at the end we need one uh, approved uh, improvement more, that is the one of the Spanish Commission uh, of Geodesy and Geophysics, that we are waiting for that. We, are, uh, we think that they are going to meet in the last part of the year and we will have the final, okay, that it will be all, um, that we, all what we need in Spain for create this group or for do this uh, application to Jigos of the, these affiliates. Then uh, we have one step more here that we didn't have in last year that uh, we are waiting for the final approval, but we expect it is soon. Uh, in the last meeting, we were waiting for the, the answer of our Portuguese colleagues. Uh, Luisa was talking with several institutions in Portugal. And uh, uh, now, at the end, we have uh, an answer that it was positive. Uh, the Portuguese institution uh, are interested in this proposal and they create a group of representatives for the, of the, for the main institutions involved in geodesy in Portugal. And we thought at first that maybe they need some kind of approval similar to the Spanish scheme, but no, only with the OK of that group created uh, is enough for, for uh, doing the proposal of the group. The first joint meeting uh, of Spain and Portugal, it was in June of this year. There were several diverse uh, organizations represented here. The Azure Regional Government, the Association of Right Authorities, Complutense University of Madrid, Directorate General for Territorial Planning of Portugal, Hydrographic Institute of Portugal, National Geographic Institute of Spain, Autonomous Region of Madeira, Royal Institute and Observatory of the Spanish Navy, and the University of Alicante. We all together have a conversation. We both countries have a positive answer, and we think that this initiative is useful and necessary. We put on the table <laughs> the different problems that we have, and we share the problems that we already saw in the Spanish a document and feasibility study are shared by our Portuguese uh, colleague, and we need that an impulse of the US in the region is needed. The conclusion is that uh, also this group could help for uh, get funds, projects that is interesting for uh, the new people, uh, and in general, increasing the awareness of the importance of US in the society and politicians. Uh, and it was uh, also discussed that could be an opportunity for uh, countries joined to this initiative to have uh, such connection with other countries. Uh, we think that a kind of a way of regulation is needed, and we decided to do a memorandum of understanding once uh, the Spanish Commission approved the proposal. And it will be a document similar to the one that Spain has done, but uh, update with the Portuguese situation and the goal and the, what we expect of this group. And it was presented at the own contribution in the UEDG this year. And for motivation, we have started creating a law. <laughs> uh, it was created by the um, workmate, a uh, colleague of the well, Elena Ribeiro that presented before. The conclusion is that uh, this group will help to fill the gap in some uh, threats and weaknesses that we have detected. Uh, for example, the lack of young scientists. Uh, Spain and Portugal have already some its interest and are working together. Um, this GIGOS affiliate uh, will need some kind of regularization even its country and organization is free for participate, and we decide to create a memorandum of understanding once uh, we have the positive answer of uh, all the needed organisms. Uh, we are waiting for the final approval of the Spanish Commission of Geodesy and Geophysics, and well, uh, this is a conclusion that we would like to reach in the future. We, we are now are only two countries, but 
we are open to more who wants to participate. We invite more countries interested in joining us in this adventure. And that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, it's the, nice to see that there's so many progress. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you uh, are the thing and, and it's also almost um, finished to, uh, and, and approved by the yes. Chilean Commission. We think that in the in, in we expect it for the last part of the year. Well, now in yeah. two months. Mm. Okay. That's very good. Is there any quick question? Yes. Yes, well, thank you for your nice overview. The question I have is, do you have a feeling already whether the big players uh, in Spain and Portugal who are our discipline of geography are represented in your group or are you still looking for more players or parties? I, I, th I think they general are all represented. We thought that maybe in the future we, um, it will need more representatives of the universities of Portugal that now are not in the group. But uh, the organizations that we are not doing this are, are not the only ones in the future. We expect to do a call for participation and that everybody is interested and uh, universities of all other organizations uh, that are working on geodesic could participate. Yeah, but the reason that I'm asking is compared to the call and also for others that um, in the area of PNC, precision navigation and timing, we have all a lot of things going on, and this is not always under the umbrella of policy. And for instance, if I read the news, uh, I just read that uh, last year uh, Spain uh, put 1.5 billion euros uh, on the table for ESA. And ESA is doing a, is a, doing a lot of things uh, in terms of uh, PNC. So I think it would be perhaps interesting to see whether you cannot have some of those parties working in TNT also involved in our geodetic work, because the borderline between the work done in those two areas, I mean, it's very similar. And if you can get them enthusiastic for our work as well, I think that would be a, a big plus. What was one thing that we discussed in the meeting, that sometimes a uh, application at a space uh, don't know that they are depending on geodesy. And sometimes when there is like an investment in a project, it's prefer preferable to put money in the projects of space and not in the geodetic projects. Mm, we think that maybe they, it's the knowledge, the, uh, the lack of knowledge that one at the end is depending on the other. <laughs> but uh, it could be interesting to see. Well, <coughs> Really, really, the decision, for example, for, for of Spain to put more money or to put all the money in the in the PNT was a decision uh, taken by the new space agency uh, that is uh, really driven driven by by companies. Uh, okay, so there are a lot of uh, commercial interests in this position. We discussed with them uh, about the possibility to put some money in, on on Genesis, for example. And uh, at the end, uh, the decision was to put all the money in the in, in the in the PNT. So there is not really connection with uh, this project and uh, and geodesy. But okay, we we should need to to, to discuss with with the uh, with them. I think that we can really benefit from it. And not only the P, and not only the N, but even the T. Think of uh, uh, Jeffrey Blue's presentation in Berlin. It's all about time. If you look at our instruments, and also the timing community, I think is a very important and relevant community for our geodetic learners. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.